Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're going back into Pokemon Legends. Alright, let's go! Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode. Okay? I know I've not exactly been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you like. Galaxy grunt, but such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Shino. And right now, that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. If you still wish to defeat me and gain entry to Electro Seat, you and little Pokemon are welcome to give it your best shot. Let's go, Skun Tank. Give them another whiff of your silent deadliness. Hmm. Alright, come on, you. Oh, man. Well... I got a Zubat, too, apparently. I can poison you. Well... Oh, man. Level 44, level... What are you? How do I, um... Not good. Alright. Not very p- mm. Yeah, let's do that. Do it. That's fine. Freeze him. No. Not very effective. Um, not very effective. Ice Fang. Yep. Alright, next. Not very effective. Oh, critical hit. Um, it's not very effective. Okay. Ice Fang. Nice. And then you're level 22 too. Jeez. Okay. Ice Fang. That was easy. Better decided. Hey, heal my Pokemon while you're at it. Oh, level up. Awesome. Move mastered. Uh, let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. I just lacked a uh, time. Yes, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Uh, could this be why Adamant is always going on and on about time being a precious thing? My word. The Diamond Clan and Almighty Shino truly are never-ending fonts of wisdom. Yes, yes. I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electro so you can make some bombs from it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Because I have completely forgotten what Electro likes. What's the matter? Upset? Too bad anger doesn't make bombs. Melly's really giving you the roundabout, isn't he, Dweeb? Yes. Thank you, Adaman. I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electro likes. So here's the... Adaman. What now? I can hear you just now, you know. Are you really going to tell this little noodle what she needs to find just like that? Let's least we all forget you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy loops? Use your eyes, Millie. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you feel even a twinge at how it suffers? Fighting can control the energy that's bursting out of it. I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being among Almighty Shinna's chosen ones. Anyway, it's not like the trials and sufferings are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. 
I'm sorry, Millie. I can't write off these these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Shino. That's why I'm doing my, the best I can to help out Dweeb here. This is bigger than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell her that she needs crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to her. Now it's time to make some bombs. Fine. At the end of the day, let none say that the great Millie shrieked his duties as sharp warden. I'll help you make your precious bombs. Hmm. Okay. There. I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs, so chuck all you like at Electro. But don't underestimate my little strength. I very much doubt that he likes of you can cool it. Mm hmm Okay. So, no one's going to heal my Pokemon? I guess I'll do it. Get all ready to face him. So, Electrode, huh? Let's do this. Okay. So even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pit yourself against Electroid? I'm ready. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, you've got a great deal more pluck than you have since. I'll give you that. A word of advice. Don't stop moving while you're battling Electroid or you'll be dead in no time. Don't stop moving. Okay, let's see. Don't stop moving. Oh no, there's a bunch of them. Which one's... Oh! There he is. Hmm. Lord of the Hollow. Electroid. He's gonna explode. Okay, let's see how bad I am at this. Oh no. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. 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 Ah, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. Go, go, go. No. Uh -oh. Go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh god. Go, 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 go. Now. Ah. Okay, this isn't too bad. I just gotta keep doing it. What? Wait. Oh. Do that. And he's poison. Oh, okay. He's not bad. Okay. Here we go. Come on, come on. Come on. 
Okay. Come on. Okay, go. Okay. Oh no. Is he gonna chase me now? Yeah, he is. Here we go. <laughs> this time I'm not gonna die. And he's gonna paralyze her. Huh? Oh, good job. You got super strong. Oh, wow. Okay, come on. He's mad. He's mad. No. 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 Oh, what's that blue one? What's that blue one? That's new. Are you going to chase me now? Yep. Go. 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 There we go. You think that's bad? That's fine. That's fine. And poison them. Good job. I did it, guys. That wasn't that bad. Throw him again. Boom. Take that. Nice. He still looks unhappy. Level up. Look at that. Nice. He doesn't look happy. You see the zap plate. A stone tablet and food. Thank you. Oh, for shame. What a little cal calamity. Millie, shut up. I agreed to make those of kiosk bombs, yes. I know that Almighty Shino's precious, precious blessing has vanished forever. It's just so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electra looks relieved to me. Glad it's suffering ended, probably. Oh, come on, Adamant. Seriously? That's just your wishful thinking, nothing more. All your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit. But it's Almighty Shino who grows angry with me because of this. I don't know what I'll do. I arrived right on schedule. Now what did you bother coming back for? Only to say that I recall some things after Dweeb did me the honor of traveling with me. Things to do with a world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. Most people there caught Pokemon lived with them, formed supported partnerships with them. And then there were the Pokemon trainers. The ones we called Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked toward the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got. All to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. 
Zero, battle through battle, trainers forge bonds of understanding with their Pokemon and with their op opponents and their Pokemon too. With everything, I suppose. If Pokemon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. Well, we'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong. Or if we can, if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Was your word like Ingo's described to Dweeb? It sure was. I never had thought such a world could exist. Oh, once again, the brilliant warden Melly has realized something rather clever. It's not just my Pokemon that needs to be strong. It's me as well. The greater my value and might, the more my Pokemon can reach their potential. I wonder if Almighty Shino will be pleased once I achieve exactly that. Hmm. Hey, Adamant. Share with me again the wisdom of Almighty Shino passed down among the, our clan. Alright, alright. Open your ears, shut the big mouth, and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow. Give not into anger. Offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow. Give not into anger. Bring not Almighty Shino to sorrow. For this is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. <clears throat> Bravo, excellent. Please, all of you, do your best to run toward the destination, an even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Dweeb. It surely lies with the next lord. Now, this time I really will make the complete return trip to Jubilife Village. Perhaps with someone like Dweeb to show that Pokemon need not to be feared, the people of Hishu will find new tracks forward. Now, begging our pardon, I... Oh, Commander Kamado, my report. Until next time, do we... Do -do 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 -do. Can we find a way to honor our past while also forging a better future? Maybe that's what Almighty Shino really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time, and it created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode into our strength, and brilliance are blinding. Okie dokie. Well, that was a pretty good one. So I can fly there now. Go back to here. Yes. <laughs> All right, so let's go. I know, but I'm not a money dude. Go talk to Kamado. Kamado. Hmm. Hmm. So Water Millie believes that the frenzies of these those Pokemon are some sort of trial sent by Almighty Shino. We cannot know if that's the case or not, but it does beg the question. Why ever would this almighty Shino drive the nobles to frenzy? It, it, is it the anger by something? Or is it angered by something? Or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Well, why be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon? And what is the space-time rift, anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm. Well, you must be tired. You must be tired. Go on, then. To the wallflower. Get some rest while you can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you the finest potato mochi. Man, after I get back to the other world, I don't think I'm going to eat potatoes ever again. <laughs> Did 
Dinner's on Kamado tonight. Eat your fill. Thank you, Kam What an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. This is generous for the boss. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has been gathering ingredients a less uh, onerous, or at least less dangerous task. But, can we talk about how you've gone from being some nobody from nowhere to basically the hero of Hasu? Indeed, taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Weep. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your absence do the speaking for you, Dweeb, and the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one wit, wit where you come from. It doesn't matter one way where you came from. You're part of the Survey Corps in Jubilee Village now. The next day. I'm stretching. Isn't it nice getting up early? Admin. It is, is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to command Commander Kamado's invitation. Today is a timely manner. Well, I got that same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on. No need to gross so much over a nice little early wake up. Are you coming too? I'm sure we all can guess what the Commander wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. Okay, so what is the last, um, Lord? You've now called the frenzies of four nobles. On to the next one. Hmm. When word of the, these frenzies arrive from all over Hishu, I fear that would become of us. But here we are, already prepared to call the final noble. Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to be called is Av Avalog, which lives in the Ab Alabaster Icelands. Al Avalog. He is also the largest of the nobles, according to what Irida tell, told me. Yes. Your mission is to call Avalog, the final lord, and perhaps in doing so, we may just trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Avalog may be the poor clan's noble, but my clan and the galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this, too, for the sake of a brighter future. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Ava Alabasto Iceland until then. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may call, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still re regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many as possible, and to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. I get that. Yeah. Mm. Oh no, what happened? You okay? Oh. <laughs> Add bro, teleport this rumble outside at once. He doesn't like bug Pokemon. Mm. Mm. <laughs> So you are, the sur you are to survey the Alabaster Iceland next. This is the most tricious climb you'll face in all Husu. It would be, it would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the survey corps. I can task with surveying the Alabaster Iceland. You know your orders. Do your mission. Okay. Well, I think that's it for now. Next one, we'll be looking at the Alabaster Iceland. Alrighty guys, so that was more Pokemon Legends.
I will be playing more of this, so look forward to that. And if you're new, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notification. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day or night. Bye-bye.